We're now going to look at another great way to create data. So having looked already at creating da test data, which is where you can upload or create data tables with fixed data effectively to map into your tests. What we're going to look at now, if we go to the project dashboard, is how to create random data. And what this means literally is you can create realistic random data, for instance, first names, last names, email addresses, and so on, such that you don't even have to have the data first. You can randomly generate it as part of your tests. Now, to do this in Virtuoso, we actually have an extension. Now, we're going to be looking at extensions in another module, but basically these are the ability to create small JavaScripts that you can execute in your tests to perform specific functions. Now, what we're going to be looking at is random data. And firstly, we can come into the Virtuoso guide, which is docs.virtuoso.qa. And if we type in and search for random and click on generate random data, then you can see actually we have an extension which can be added to your organization where you can then generate, in this case, a few examples, but not limited to just these, generating a first name, last name, city, uh, random number, for example. And I'll show you some more, some more examples here. So the first thing you're going to have to do is add the extension. So now when I click on add extension, this takes me through to our production site. So if you're in production, that's great. You can just click into add to your organization. If you're in our staging environment, just at the beginning, put in staging. So hyphen staging to the URL, press enter, and then you can add this into your test organization. And clicking on add loads the random uh, data generated extension into the extensions file. So now you've done that and you've loaded the random data uh, generator extension. You can come back to your project dashboard and let's create a new goal. So let's go uh, rocketshop.virtuoso.qa and let's call this our random data goal and click on create and add first journey. And again, as usual, as you know, we'll create a journey, navigate to the rocket shop URL in the live browser window, click on add checkpoint and let's go random data. Now we're going to put some data into the checkouts. First, let's go ahead and let's, uh, as usual, wait for the Rocket Shop merchandise. Let's go ahead and look for the uh, Comet integration. Let's click on Add to Bag. Let's click on the Shopping Bag. And then let's wait for the Go to Checkout. There we go, go to checkout. Let's, let's click on go to checkout. We can then, let's use the inspect on this one. In fact, we're onto the payment page, but we will go, yeah, wait for uh, confirm and pay. So now what we wanna do is we wanna enter in an email address. So let's go ahead and say, right, this is our random data checkpoint. So all we have to do is call the extension. So if we type generate random, you can see now we're going to use that extension. Now we're going to use an email address. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is actually just paste this in here. So generate random, we go brackets, speech mark, bracket, bracket, internet.email, bracket, bracket, speech mark, bracket. Okay, you can uh, copy them for examples and just basically change what you want in the middle here. So we're generating a random email and we're going to return that into a variable. So when I click on save, we can see that that runs. And when it goes green, if I click on that in the side effects, I've generated an email address randomly, but it's realistic. So if I come back now, I could say now that I want to write email, the variable into the email field. And so now I can go ahead and there we go. It writes it into the box. I could do the same for generating uh, a first name, last name to so generate random with a name space, um, or first name space last name returning the full name and so let's go and see that if we do that we've then generated this is Maya Moore there we go and so then let's write full name in the full name field great now it could be that I want to do these separately so maybe I want to generate a first name and then I also want to generate a last name so there we go so now I've got Silas, and here we've got Silas Turner. Now what I could do now is I could say store value, use an expression, so dollar bracket, dollar first name, 
then I could say plus and I want to put a space in so I go uh, hyph um, was that a um, apostrophe space apostrophe plus last name close brackets in uh, let's call this full name two and by doing that basically then I can join together the different variables I've, ge I've generated to create my Silas Turner and then I can go back and again write the uh, full name two in the full uh, name there we go and this time there we see so now I've joined together two parameters here and we can do a whole bunch more I could also generate phone numbers where I can specify formats in here as well so I'm going to generate a phone number and then at the end of the phone number here I'm going to put in brackets I want 07402 and then six digits so this is for a UK phone number equally I could do a US phone number so I could come in and specify again a format where I want one hyphen, two digits, three digits, four digits. Um, I can do things like generate a random job title. So you can sort of see here and if we come in, so what's my job title here? We've got product intranet officer. Okay, that's a great title. I could create, uh, let's say, a product. So you can see actually by doing this, you can actually generate a whole bunch of random data which will literally be created on the fly. So we've got salad, okay. So I'm a salad maker, great. Um, I could do a, a first uh, a first line of address. So if we see here, we've got street address. I could do a zip code. And so you can see you've got all these examples that you can put in. And again, the structure, as you can see, is the same as generate random, and then the structure of the brackets, and then speech marks, bracket, bracket. And these all come from the faker.js library. So this is fakerjs.dev, and we get started. Then you can see in here that you've got all types. So for instance, we could have address, and then you can see that you've got the structure in terms of address.building number. We can have things like um, random details like numbers and so on, names, so first name, last name. Um, yeah, you've got uh, even sort of finance for sort of different uh, details. So you can generate a whole bunch of uh, different random data and then use that in your tests rather than having to uh, generate very useful things like if it's just generic data like first names, last names, or perhaps, perhaps it could be um, a value. So you want to have a, a number between 1 and uh, 10,000, for example. So that's uh, how to use uh, uh, fake random but realistic data in your tests.